Nightmares where you're running on a hamster wheel made of hot dogs. I feel like drunk, I could achieve my dreams. You know, hot dogs bring on a serious depression. <laughs> Losing your teeth wouldn't be all that bad. It was the wrong answer. Though. Check, it's me! Me! <laughs> Real quick, just wanted to explain why the audio is a little weird here. At some point while Forrest and I were setting up, I must have bumped my microphone because the polar pattern was set to only record me and I didn't record his voice at all. So unfortunately, we had to rely heavily on the camera audio, but it's not too bad. I tweaked it a little bit, so this is definitely audible. This was just way too good of a would you rather to not post. So hopefully you guys can deal with that. Okay, here's Forrest Rice, would you rather. Would you rather play a 16 inch kick drum forever or 26 inch kick drum forever? Oh, 26 inch. I 26? Need, I need this though. <laughs> oh, the rebound is miserable. The rebound is miserable, but I feel like I would just get a super buff calf out of it. And Probably. I'm, I'm kind of about, the, you know what, at 16, I would probably be, I'd probably have the fastest foot. Yeah. Out of anyone if I just, so that's a, that's actually harder than I thought. Because <laughs> if you're on a 16, you could just be blazing triples and stuff. With yeah, like, with yeah, like, it sends it back. Yeah, yeah. it's right there. If I could get the sub out of the 16, like the low end that I need out of a bass drum. You totally could. I love that I little would. baby sonar did that. Yeah. Oh, it did? Dude, it can sound crazy with like an Audix D6 in it, the right microphone okay. or something. You know what? And hauling a 16 would be easier yeah. than a 26. And a 26 would like almost take up as much room as a bench in yeah. the back of a van. I think your rack tom is yeah. like, you, that's going to be way, yeah. way off the side. Yeah. Dang. You know what? I'll go 16. 16. I'm with you on that. <laughs> This 26 was the wrong answer. So. <laughs> Would you rather play a three-piece setup forever mm. or a ten-piece setup? Oh, three-piece all day. Yeah. It's just way swag looking. Yeah. Fewer drums to haul around and it just would, I feel like you would, you would not look cool. On a 10 piece? You wouldn't. Did you ever think you'd get to a point after 20 years where you're like, bro, I just want another time. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> I totally would. And man, if I could play the 10 piece without needing every piece for the rest of my life, if I No, could, it has to it be has fully to be assembled. Home. Yeah, just play in a living room the whole time. It, as long as it's not on a rack. <laughs> uh, I think you would have to be on a rack. Where do you, who has yeah. like eight tom stamps? Without right? a rack. Ugh. Man, that's a tough Yeah, one. I think people go to a rack not because it's cool, but because you like you have to. They for sure don't you have go too much shit. Cool. <laughs> it's not gonna, Confirm, it's not, not it's cool. cool. <laughs> Would you rather play uh, an entire covet gig with your kit completely reversed? That's like right foot on the hi hat stand. Oh my yeah. god! Or like extremely drunk? I'd rather be extremely drunk. Oh, dude, have you ever played super drunk? No, I never have, so I have no It's idea. like basically impossible. It's like <laughs> you realize why you're not supposed to drive drunk. It's like, yeah, oh, yeah, my yeah. hands and feet don't work. Like, that's yeah. what happens, yeah. Backwards, I would not be able to. I feel like drunk, I would at least think I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where the, the other way, it. yeah, the other way, I would know I was not doing it. And, and of course, be, you can't tell anybody. You just yeah. have to let everyone think you're it. Yeah, I'm just like, this is you're a trying. natural lefty. Yeah, I'm a natural lefty, guys. <laughs> <laughs> is he really? No, I could have fooled me. <laughs> would you rather only eat hot dogs for six weeks? Ooh. Like water and hot dogs, that's it, six weeks. Water and hot dogs. Yeah. Or you got to go barefoot for six months. Oh, barefoot. That dude, you're traveling the country. I know. Like I you've been like... to some dirty places. Yeah. Huh. No. Yeah. yeah. Some cold places too. No, that's true. Where your little feet would. Yeah. Man. You know, hot dogs. Just the sound of, just the idea of only eating hot dogs. You might die. Makes me sick. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I might die. I feel like I'll survive barefoot. Yeah. More so than I would hot dogs and water. And just the two. Just thinking like. It's like one or the other, is it water or is it just <laughs> hot dogs? That would just drive me insane because I've only become a foodie recently and traveling. Yeah. You, know, you just want to eat all the cool stuff, so I would definitely go barefoot. And I feel like after two months, I would be used to it. You probably would tough enough to get used to it. You I just get all massive callus. You get hobbit, yeah. you get hobbit feet and you're, and you're good. You absolutely <laughs> would, yeah. But I don't know if you'd ever get used to hot dogs. 
I think that would get progressively yeah. worse. That week would, six would just be you would develop an aversion. Yeah, where you'd eat it and just probably throw throw up everything. Yeah, all the hot dog you had last week. And yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it would just like bring on a serious depression of, of hot dog induced um, self hatred. Yeah, exactly. self loathing. Exactly, exactly. You're just like next week. It's just more hot dogs. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're eating trash, you just feel like Just that. having nightmares where you're running on a hamster wheel made of hot dogs yeah. and you just can't. <laughs> so would you rather listen to All Star by Smash Mouth, 300... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking song. Next question. <laughs> so would you rather listen to All Star by Smash Mouth, 365 times consecutively, so just in a row. Oh god, that's a that's, that's a lot, man. That's Over a, lot. a day, I, right? That's gotta that's gotta be a few weeks of Smash <laughs> Mouth, man. Yeah. <laughs> or or you can listen to it once a day for two years. <laughs> I think I would go with once a day just to preserve your sanity. <laughs> yeah, I just like I wake up, brush my teeth. <laughs> Yeah, just throw it away brushing your teeth. Then you're starting the day. <laughs> and then you're just kind of like, then you can go about your day again, you know? Yeah, with that song yeah. stuck in your head. And, well, how conscious do you need to be when you play it? Could you, pl could you have an alarm play it at no. like when you're in dead asleep? I'd say and no. That's your, that's I'd say you time. have to like be really intentionally listening. You know? Damn, you gotta like stare at the lyrics or something. <laughs> you gotta read along every time. <laughs> yeah, you gotta look up like like the audio with the what are they called? The lyric music yeah, video. Yeah, 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 and you gotta read it you every gotta, time. Yeah, just read it. Yeah. Oh gosh. Yeah. I feel like if you listen to it all at once after the because it's three hundred and sixty five times, I you would glaze over by the hundredth. And might. I feel like you might just Enter some new state of consciousness humanity is yet to tap into because That's we haven't awesome. we haven't listened to All Star enough. I think it's a very underplayed song. You can't find it. You know the internet doesn't do anything with it. Yeah, it was in yeah. some one-off movie that didn't do that well. Yeah, that thing's underperformed. Yeah, yeah. The second one was way better anyway. Yeah. Would you rather be permanently sticky or permanently greasy? I feel like. Being in Orlando today, <laughs> I've experienced what it's like to be greasy. Yeah, a little both, man. Just a little, yeah. If I'm oily, I could achieve my dreams being a world-class criminal. And just slide <laughs> through air ducts like no one's business. Yeah, I man. just be diving under Be very bushes. mobile. Yeah, 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 yeah. That would be, that might be the move. But if you're sticky, then... It's the opposite. Yeah, you could you could also be a world class thief though, and just like <laughs> be stealing mad shit, <laughs> just like bumping into stuff. I think I think being <laughs> sticky, I think you would collect. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I think you would collect dirt. That's what I think. About. Like that's you're way, seeing... that's way too true. You're not collecting money. You're collecting grime. Yeah, just like filth dirt. from a city, yeah. just walking through, and you're just black. Oh, just like all grimy, man. Pretty. You know, never drop a stick though. Damn, that's... Yeah. Ugh. Levels to this. Yeah, there's, le <laughs> there's, le there's levels of this. <laughs> Would you rather lose all of your teeth or lose all of your hair? Oh. Oh. And there's solutions for both, and right? This... You can wear a wig without yeah. that. You oh, can get a wig. you know what? Teeth. Just having dentures? You can get veneers or dentures. Yeah. For, there, if I could get them... I mean, could I get that right now? Because, like... If I never yeah, needed probably. to brush my teeth, I mean, of course you got to clean you your mouth. I think you still have to brush. You still got to do something, but if you don't need to take as highly intensive dental care, probably not up until your teeth will inevitable, inevitably, like rot. Yeah, you, you might as well just get your veneers or dentures in ASAP. I think I agree. And, and have to and have to live with less stress, and you got to keep your hair. You need to keep. I feel like beautiful lot. I feel like losing your teeth wouldn't be all that bad because then you just kind of be you got to become a cyber cyborg person. Yeah. Like an android. You, you just get become, better teeth. You just get you better got. teeth than the ones you got that you, that will stay super clean and not be crooked. Yeah. And like you don't got to worry about. Demolish this question. Yeah, that one I was ready for. Yeah. <laughs> now, now that reminds me of one. I got for you. Okay. That's cool. This all is right. one we ask in Covet Fam all the time. Okay. We'd rather die right now or live forever. Now, I mean, if you I live forever, even if you're cut up into little bits and the sun explodes and you're floating in space, you still feel every bit of it. Yeah. And you just go on existing. 
I think I would I would have to go live forever. Really? I think I would I would have to. Even if you were diced up and and you and you were just diced up pieces of meat on the ground, you still felt it forever. Well, the thing is, you have enough time to prepare for how to make sure that doesn't happen, right? You have an, <laughs> infinite, yeah, you have yeah. an infinite amount of yeah, time, yeah, so do. I will dedicate as long as like my physical <laughs> body lasts, uh -huh. I'm just gonna figure out how to like maintain myself through right. eternity. Mm -hmm. So that's what yeah. I would think, because if I got yeah. an infinite amount of time, I can figure out how to not have chopped to not get diced up. But what space. about when the sun explodes inevitably? Are you gonna be, are you gonna <sighs> dedicate your, your whole life to space travel and learning how to avoid the heat death of the universe eventually. I mean, eventually it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna suck. suck. It's gonna suck. <laughs> it's gonna suck sooner and, and suck for longer than you think. That's very true. That's mm -hmm. very true. If you're stuck for an infinite amount of time. I don't know. I think I would I would bet on the fact that there are like alternate universes I could somehow make it to, even if that took millions of years. <laughs> I like where this is going. Right? <laughs> that, like, yeah, at yeah. some point I would eventually make it somewhere else you where there's a spaceship you're just going and then all of a sudden you're just like bloop, you're in another yeah, direction, right? Yeah. I mean how far can you go in one direction before you run into something, yeah, right? That's true. Yeah. You know? That's I like that answer. Um here in Covet fam, we all die right now. Man! We're all hardcore. Dark bunch of we're, fuckers. We're dark. Guys. And, yeah. and, but uh, that's, the, that's the secret. But, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, I, my, my friend had a good answer. He said if given the opportunity to live forever, he would take it because ignoring that opportunity and just choosing to die right now, he feels like would be a waste if he was the only person give the, given the chance to live forever. Sure. He should use that for good. Yeah. That's basically his answer. I also think you have to val you have to place more value on life itself than any anything else. Like what is more important yeah. than being alive? Like mm. clearly that has like supreme value over everything else. There you go. Yeah, so yeah. if it was live or die, I mean I feel like you universally have to go live, even if it mm. just sucks. Mm -hmm. You know? It, I guess what it means is um, how much how much do you equate life to suffering? I think yeah. that's, that's a big part of it too is for a lot of people just living their normal life. Yeah, they could be living in an immense amount of suffering, so they're just like, "Fuck, fucking end it now." Yeah, see, we need you know? we need to reread Siddhartha to talk about this. <laughs> yeah. Yo, yo, shouts to Siddhartha. <laughs> 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 <laughs>